एवरीवन वेलकम टू दीपिका मेकअप होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग सुपर ऑसम सो टुडेस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ रिव्यू एंड लिप स्वॉचेस वीडियो ऑफ एले गर्ल लिक्विड लिपस्टिक्स एंड दे आर कॉल्ड एले गर्ल मैट फ्लैट फिनिश pigment glosses i picked up six shades from this collection i'm going to review them for you and also swatch all the six shades on my lips today so let's begin this video i have six shades from this collection and i picked this up from the rikis a uh, stall from the makeup show last year when i visited in july so i have these in my collection for a very long time from time to time i have been wearing them and whenever i wear them i always used to think that i have to share about these with you guys and time went by i never got around to the review so yeah that's how i roll sometimes i just never get around to some things anyways better late than never i'm going to talk about these today these retail for 399 to 599 depending on where you pick them up i got these for around like 4 or 5 dollars you can get these directly from the la girl website or from the ricky store if you live in new york you can get directly from the store or from the ricky's website and also pick6deals.com i will leave all the links that i know in the description box below they have 16 shades in this collection out of which i just have 6 but the shade range is just fantastic they have nudes pinks oranges reds deep plums and corals so you have a wide array of uh, shades to choose from the packaging is this standard plastic packaging and it's this lip gloss uh, kind of packaging and i have traveled with this i uh, threw this away in my purse no leakage i never had any issues with this and talking about the applicator it's actually very good it picks the right amount of product and the stopper is actually really good inside and also the uh, applicator is very sturdy so it's very easy to define your lips and fill them in so i really like the applicator on these Moving on to the application as i already mentioned the applicator makes it really simple to define and fill in your lips but the darker colors are actually a little patchy not all the dark colors but some of the darker colors are a little patchy so uh, once your first coat is dried you can go ahead and comfortably apply a second coat and they will look opaque and to mention the scent it has some kind of plastic or uh, some kind of artificial scent that I can't really point out but you can only smell that once you open the tube you cannot smell it while you are applying or the scent doesn't linger around uh, once you have the product on your lips now that we have heard about the basic things about these products let's see the swatches and i will let you guys know what i think about them Now that you've seen the swatches let's talk about the most important stuff how they look feel and last on the lips they look very opaque and matte whenever i wear these in my videos i always get questions on what i have on my lips so i really love the colors that i picked up and i also love how they look on my lips now talking about how they feel on the lips they are in general very comfortable on the lips except the biggest drawback for this is they are very sticky like if you can see on my lips 
so do you see how sticky they are so if you're talking or if you press your lips harder it takes some time for you to open your mouth again so that's the only and the most annoying part i would say other than that in general with any liquid lipstick if you don't exfoliate uh, before applying liquid lipsticks they tend to feel dry and patchy on the lips so make sure to exfoliate your lips and also moisturize your lips very well otherwise um, you will feel the dryness and they will hurt your lips and whenever I feel that dryness I just put a lip balm on top of it and it feels really really comfortable and coming to how they last on the lips they are extremely long wearing I would say over six to seven hours but when it's time to wear off they wear off very patchy and i would not recommend you reapply that if you reapply on those patchy lips uh, you can still see the patches underneath so i would definitely not recommend reapplying these if you see them uh, fading away you better remove everything and then apply the shade again and also you have to keep in mind these are extremely difficult to remove so uh, a normal makeup remover will not be enough you have to massage some oil on your lips and break up the product and then remove it so if you want to remove uh, these lip products on the go it's not possible you have to come back home and remove with the oil based uh, makeup remover or i just use grapeseed oil to break up the product and then wipe off with the cotton pad and finally, I want to say that these are good lip products, but I definitely can say that these are not a must have in your collection. I really like the shade range. I love all the six shades that I picked up. They are very complimenting on my skin tone. But if you can stand with the stickiness and also if you can bear that pain when you're removing uh, these lip products, you can go ahead and get these. And that is all what I have to talk about these liquid lipsticks. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button and make me happy. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all very very soon in my next video. Goodbye.